I'm Morgan, the System Morgan Show. So, I actually did my hair. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't show you how I did it. Oh, it would require cutting it and stuff. And unfortunately, it can't grow back that good. But I feel like it. <laughs> Heather Travis, come on Heather Travis, yay yay, come on Heather Travis, come on. Today we're talking to Miss Heather Travis, she is from Valley Grand, Alabama, but Heather Travis, tell you where else we're originally from tonight. Uh, I'm from Hopeful, Alabama slash Deepsville slash Slapple. So, your name is Heather Travis, what is your age Miss Travis? Seventeen. What's your favorite movie, Miss Chavis? Um, By whom? Oh, Stephen King. Yummy, yummy, look at that. Cheetah, look at that. Oh my goodness, you brought the fan favorite. So, Heather Chavis, how was your day today? It's good so far. That is wonderful, Miss Chavis. My name's Heather, mm -hmm. I'm 17, and I like Stephen King. My favorite Stephen King movie is Stand By Me. So, Miss Chavis, how dumb do you think SpongeBob is? I don't want to say anything to offend anybody, so I'm going to say no comment. Miss Chavis, we are talking about Vampire Diaries in this video. I'm pretty sure a little kid is not going to pull this video up if it says something about vampires. Now give me your honest opinion about how dumb Spongebob Squarepants is. Like I said, I want to keep peace so I don't want to offend anybody so I'm going to say no comment. Even though I think the old Spongebob is better than the new one. Because the new one, let's face it, is becoming a little bit more ridiculous. Okay, so we can't really say too much about Spongebob, but we can say a lot about Patrick. So, I'm going to give you trivia questions from Spongebob Squarepants. And you just answered them in your own opinion of how the stupidity went. Mrs. Chavis, Patrick drops his wallet in order to try and make Man Ray a more generous villain. And try and make him not a villain at all. But every time Man Ray asked for his, uh, ask him, um, uh, if he wants his wallet back, he says, that's not my wallet. Finally, Man Ray pulls out Patrick's license, shows it to him. Patrick agrees that it's his license. He says, I found this license in this wallet, so it must be your wallet. Patrick says, okay, makes sense to me. And then he's like, well, here, take it. And then Patrick's like, that's not my wallet. Give me your honest opinion on how stupid you think Patrick was. Well, um, I think what the creator of the writer of Spongebob was trying to do was, tr tr was trying to create irony, you know, like how it's his wallet. But the irony of the situation is that he won't take it. Uh, I, I guess it's, I don't, I don't really know how to word it. I'm, I'm very bad at wording things. Well, thank you, Miss Chevy Chevy's, for your honest opinion. Shh, Miss Chavis is getting comfortable in her beddy by. Let's watch and embarrass her. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, <laughs> Miss Travis, do you like Enzo from the Vampire Diaries? Uh, yes, I like him. Uh, I haven't really seen enough episodes yet to, uh, you know, make an inquiry. But do you like him? 
we we should move on this setting out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You've seen Enzo in Vampire Diaries, haven't you? At least once or twice, or seen a picture of him. Yeah, I've seen pictures of him, and I've seen at least one or two episodes of him in it. How do you s describe him? That was just a picture of Enzo. But let's see if Mrs. Chavis can actually describe him without even seeing this picture. Okay, well, the last time I watched, um, Enzo was kind of a tall guy with, like, uh, brown hair. And the actor who plays him has, like, an English accent. And that's all I can say. I can't really tell what color his eyes are. And I can't really tell if he's muscular, because I don't really remember that much, but, um, I do know he, he's, uh, tall and has brown hair. So, Heather Travis, this is actually a picture I'm going to show you. What do you think of this girl with the the badgers in this bag so it the pictures from wizards of waverly place it's where everyone goes evil including alex and justin and apparently alex is playing on laying a bag of angry badgers go what do you think of this picture with rosie holding the bag up and evil alex giving it to her once alex realizes there's still some good in her Well, uh, as Morgan has told you before, she is holding a bag of angry badgers, and she's got this look like WTF on her face, and it's, I guess it's all, no. It's all over for you, Mrs. Javis. Of course, the same crime. Hey, that's creepy. Please don't ever do that again, please. So, Miss Chavis, you liking the night? Yeah, I'm just hanging out with my best friend Morgan. My sister, actually. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's talk some more about Vampire Diaries. Do you mind if we do? No, I don't mind talking about it. Let's go ahead and talk about it. So, me and Heather decide to lay down. I'm laying down on my purple sleeping bag. And she's in her pretty flower blanket, even though I really don't think flowers are that pretty. What do you got against flowers? Flowers are okay, it's just that they're really not my favorite. Well, it, um, my name is Heather, and Heather is a flower that grows in Scotland, which is funny because I'm Scot-Irish. Heather, in one of the most recent, um, videos of the Vampire Diaries, Caroline is crying in the car. She talks to Elena and tries to sound like she's not crying at all. Luckily, Elena can't tell who she is because she's trying to talk like she's not in the car. And it's not like Elena can see her. Anyway, Enzo gets in the car. Enzo realizes that Caroline does not want to look at him and he tries every way to make um her look at him finally he uh, pulls her face by his hand and forces her to look into his eyes when he and he can see that she is crying to be continued oh yeah if you're wondering about my hair, I only 
can cut that part. See, it's just a very a ponytail, but it's okay. It's just that when I'm like this, only that part shows. See. <laughs>